In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called sort colors by frequency. So we're given a string, and we want to sort it in descending order based on the frequency of the characters. So you can see we have an input of tree, and uh, in this case, E appeared twice, while R and T appeared only once. So in this case, we're going to get E comes before R and T. And it doesn't matter if we have t come before r or r becomes before t, they're all valid answer. So in this case, we are basically sorting characters based on frequency, right? Based on how many times they appear in the string. So if they have if they appear uh, equal numbers, right? They, they both appear three times, then it doesn't matter if we have um, AAA CCC or CCC AAA, right? So in this case, um, those are both valid answer. And uh, in this case, we have a capital A. So in this case, if it's capital A, then we are, uh, we're not going to treat A and capital A, like lowercase a and uppercase A are the same. So we're going to treat them differently. So in this case, uppercase A appear once and lowercase, appear, uh, lowercase a appear once. Uh, B ap appear two times. So in this case, B comes before both of those letters, right? So how can we solve this problem? So one way we can do this is we can use based on, uh, we can basically sort the array based on their frequency. So we're gonna save their appearance in a table. So in this case, T appear once, R appear once, E appear twice. We're gonna sort, we're gonna save it onto our table. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort this um, using like a heap, right? Or a sort the array um, or sort the table, right? This will basically give us a time complexity of a login because we're sorting the entire array. So can we do better? Yes, we can. One way we can do better is we can use a bucket sort. And this bucket sort is basically we're using a hash table, right? We're using two hash table to drive time complexity down to a linear. So the goal is pretty simple. We have a table. And in this case, we keep track of how many times each character appeared. So T appear once, R appear once, E also appear, uh, e, e appear twice. So what we can do is we're gonna get the maximum uh, appearance, right? The maximum frequency in this case is two. So once we know it's two, that's the, that's where we're gonna start off, right? So now we're gonna have another table. Uh, basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all the characters that appear once in a list of characters, right? So the, the value is gonna be a list of characters. The key is gonna be how many times this character appear. So in this case, this character, right? In this case, T and R both appear once. So we save that in, in a character, in a, in a uh, list of characters. And we also have E appear twice. So the key is gonna be two. And uh, the value is gonna be a list of character, which is gonna be just E. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna start from the maximum frequency character, which is two. And then what we're gonna do is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a uh, max frequent character, which is gonna be two, right? The maximum frequent, uh, character frequent, in this case, is gonna be two because E appeared two times. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the max frequent frequency, and uh, we're going to see if this number contains in our table. In this case, we do. We have a two and have a list of character that contains an E, right? So this E right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add E two times because E appeared two times onto the string. Then we're going to see if uh, key minus one contains in our table. So we have one now, right? Key minus one is one. So now we have a list of characters, which, which is T and R. So we're adding them once onto our string. And then uh, in this case, we're just going to continue to do that until we get each and every single uh, columns, right? In our table added onto the string um, based on the number of frequency, but based on the number of times that this character appeared. So we're basically going from top to bottom, right? So now we know how to solve this problem and the time complexity for this is gonna be big O of N uh, because we're using tables and uh, basically we're going to use two tables um, to bring the time complexity down to a linear time complexity. So let's take a look at how we can solve this problem. So to do this in code, first we're going to define a table. So this is our first table, right? So our first 
table, which basically is there to track how many times each character appeared. So track character appearance. So we're going to add all the, um, so add each character appearance onto the table, right? So once we do that, we're going to define our second table. Our second table basically is there to um, get in the key, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to have a uh, integer and the value is going to be a list of characters. So we're going to have our second table is there to, um, to track the characters, um, each character's uh, same. So in this case, the same frequency will be added onto the list. So we're going to have our second table to keep track of the frequency, right? So track the frequency. We're going to categorize each character by their frequency pretty much. And then we're going to, what we're going to do then is we're going to start from the last, uh, the maximum, start from the max, uh, frequency to zero, right? So in this case, we're going to, uh, check to see, right? We iterate from the max frequency all the way to zero and we're adding each and every single elements, uh, by their frequency um add it onto the string so we're going to start from this to this and add each character to the string okay pretty simple at the end we're returning the string okay so now let's try to define this part so let's take a look at constraint first so the constraints it doesn't really say anything so what we're going to do is we're going to first see if s is equal to null if it's null, we can just return null, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a character array. So we're going to define a table. say character is going to be the key and it's just going to be how many times this character appeared let's call it hash map one and uh, for each character that we have in our array what we're going to do is we're going to say hash map one dot put right so we're going to say for the current character, we it appears hash map dot get or default by default zero. Got to increment that by one. Okay. Um, and then what we're going to do then is we're going to add each character's appearance onto the, the table, the second table, right? So sorry, yeah, that's what we did here. Let me just add this here, right? So in this case, this is what we did here for each character, we added their appearance onto our table. So once we know how. Uh, like how many times each character appeared in the string, we're going to define our second table, right? So we're going to have a map. Uh, sorry, it's going to be an integer, right? Integer is going to be there to track how many times uh, the frequency, right? So then we also have a list of character. So hash map two, which is equal to new hash map. So what we're going to do then is we're going to basically iterate all the characters that we have in our hash map one, right? So it's going to be key sets. So we're getting all the characters in our hash map one. And basically the goal for this one, for this iteration is there to define this hash map two table, right? So we're going to have a list of character, right? So that's kind of like our list. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say hash map two dot put, right? So for, um, in this case, hash map one dot get current, which is going to be the frequency. So let's break it down into, into a, into a variable, onto a variable, 
uh, and then we're going to say frequency. For this frequency, we have a list. We have an empty list. Okay, so once we define our second table, and this is basically there to define an empty table, right? We have um, the frequencies and the list defined. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add characters and frequency onto this onto the second table. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to say for each character that we have. So I'm just going to copy this part. So for each character that we have in our hash map one, right? For all the keys, uh, we're going to basically first get a frequency, which is equal to hash map dot get this one. Right, so once we get a frequency, uh, we're going to say hash map two dot get frequency. Right, so this will give us the list. And uh, what we're going to do is this we're going to have our list, we're going to say dot add, right, dot add the current character onto it, right? So we're going to say hash map dot get frequency that add the current character. So then we're going to start from the max frequency. Uh, in this case, what we're going to do is we can define a max frequency and the default is zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to say for each iteration, the max is equal to the maximum, the, the current frequency or the maximum value. So once we have our max frequency, we're going to start to iterate, right? So we're going to first, let's have our string builder first. String builder that we're going to return at the end. str. Okay, so for, I'm going to start from the max, right? So all i is bigger than or equal to zero. Um, yeah, actually, we can say bigger than zero, right? So if it's bigger than zero, we're going to decrement i by one. And uh, for each iteration, we're going to get the um, the list of characters, right? So if hash map two dot contains i is equal to false, we can just continue. Otherwise, what we're going to do is we're going to have our list of character Right, our list is equal to hash map to dot get key, or get the key is, in this case is i. So once we get our list of characters, for each characters that we have, we're gonna add them uh, i number of times, right? So for each character in our list. What we're going to do is we're going to say um, for integer j is equal to zero, j is less than i, right? j plus plus. We're just going to add them i number of times onto the string. So str dot append, right? In this case, it's going to be current character. We're going to append the current character um, i number of times onto the string. So for each character, right, in our list. Course. So we're going to do that until we get our entire string build. So then we're going to return str.toString. Okay, so now let's try to run our code. Okay, and now let's try with a capital letter. And uh, let's try to submit. And here you can see we have our success. So this is how we solve the sort colors by frequency uh, and time complexity in this case is going to be big O of n and the space complexity in this case is going to be big O of n as well.